In this video tutorial, you are going to learn how to use Google Classroom as a student. To use Google Classroom, first thing you need to have is a Google account. So head over to google.com and sign in if you already have an account or create a new one. After you've signed in or created an account, click on Google Apps, scroll all the way down and choose Google Classroom. Welcome to your Google Classroom class list. This is where you will see all the classes that you've enrolled in. There are two ways to join a new class. First, if your teacher has given you a class code, click on plus sign and click join class. Enter the class code that your teacher has provided you with. If your teacher has invited you via the email, you will see an invitation to join the class. It will look something like this with the class name, your teacher's name, teacher's avatar, and two options, decline and join. Choose join. Welcome to your Google Classroom home screen. First is your stream. This is where all the announcements and all the new assignments will appear once your teacher has posted them. Right now, there are four posts and there's one announcement. On the left-hand side, you see upcoming events and due dates. At the top, you see three tabs. Stream, the thing we're looking at right now, classwork, and people. People's tab will contain lists of teachers who are teaching this class and also your classmates. Most of the time you'll be working from classwork tab, which will contain posts or assignments from your teacher. Teachers can post four different kinds of assignments. First type is a simple assignment. The second type is a quiz assignment. The third one is a question. And finally, there is a material. Now let's have a look at each type in more detail. If your teacher has created an assignment, it will most likely contain the following things. First, there's a name of the assignment. Right now it's just an assignment. If there's a due date, the due date will appear on the right. Next, there's a list of instructions, a rubric and supporting materials. What I'm gonna do as a student is follow teacher's instructions. My first instructions is to read article titled Transforming Education with Minecraft. Now the article is right here. To read the article, simply click on it. This will open a new window, which you can use to read the article. The second task is to use document titled Personal Reflection to express my thoughts. A teacher has also provided me with a document for my personal reflection. A teacher has also provided me with a rubric, which I can use to see what kind of word choice, grammar and structure I need to use to score maximum number of points. I'm gonna use this rubric to write my personal reflection. To write personal reflection, click on the file. Once you clicked on the file, two tab will be open. This is a Google Doc, which you will use to write your reflection. Let's assume that I finished my reflection and I'm ready to turn in my work. So what I'm gonna do is click turn in. Google Classroom warns me that if I'm ready to submit my assignment, I will click turn in. But I think there is one more assignment from my teacher. So I'm not gonna turn in my assignment. For now, I will go back to my assignment and read instruction. Record and submit a short video blog or podcast about how I use video games for educational purposes. For this task, I don't have a template, I don't have a file or an article to read. I actually need to create and upload something. To do that, click on view assignment because we've already completed our reflection our reflection is right here under our work but we haven't turned in our work yet meaning that our teacher won't be able to see it yet because we still have one more step let's assume that i've recorded my podcast and now i'm ready to upload this onto the google classroom to upload files onto the google classroom click add or create then choose where your files are stored, Google Drive or link from the internet or files. In my case, I have files on my computer. So I'm gonna click files, select files from my device and select files that I would like to upload. In this case, I have one audio file, I have one picture and my video blog. I'm gonna select all three, click open and then upload. Google Drive will take a couple of seconds to upload my files onto the Google Classroom. Now, once I'm finished, I'm gonna be brought back to my Google Classroom screen. Now I have more files under my work. I have my reflection, 
I have my audio file, I have my picture and video blog. The number of the files will vary depending on the instructions of your teacher, but do know that you can submit different kinds of media, files, audio files, pictures, and even video files. Once you're ready to turn in your work, click Turn In. Google Classroom will ask you one more time whether you would like to submit these files as your response. If you're sure, click Turn In. Now when our assignment has been turned in, it's time for your teacher to view your assignment and give you the grade. After your teacher has returned your work, a couple of things have changed. First, you've been given a final grade that has been generated from the rubric. Remember how we saw this rubric before the assignment? Now your teacher has marked your level. To see where you landed in each criteria, click on Expand. A teacher has also left you a private comment. Private comment is a comment that only you can see. If you would like to respond to your teacher, you can do so using Add Private Comment feature. We've looked at assignment and how we can submit different kinds of files to respond to our teacher's assignment. Our assignment is now graded, so let's move on to another type of assignment, which is quiz assignment. Once you click on the quiz assignment, as usual, you will see a, a due date, you will see your teacher's instructions, and you will also see a quiz, which is a Google form. To complete the quiz, click on the Google Forms. Once you click on the Google Forms, Google Classroom will take you to the quiz. A Google quiz can contain different kind of questions. The first two are multiple choice. Our third question has check boxes, so there can be more than one correct answer. Our final question is an open-ended question, which means you need to type in your answer. Once you've completed the quiz, make sure that you click Submit button. Now your assignment has been turned in and it's time for your teacher to grade it and return it back to you. Once your teacher has graded and returned your work back to you, you will see your score right here. Let's go ahead and look at another type of assignment, which is question. Question type of assignment usually contains a question and maybe some supporting materials. In this case, a teacher has set the instructions to watch the trolley problem video clip, which is attached to the question, and then write an answer to the question, what would I do in this situation? Let's imagine that I viewed the clip and I'm ready to answer the question. To answer the question, click on view question, type your answer right here under type your answer. Once your answer is ready, click turn in. Google Classroom will ask you whether I'm sure I want to turn in because I won't be able to make changes to my answer once I've submit. I'm sure and I'm going to turn in. A teacher has also instructed me to respond to at least two of my classmates. You might have noticed that once I've submitted my answer, I can now see my classmate comments and respond to them. So I'm going to click see classmate comments and respond to them. My name is MS3 iPad 3 and MS1 iPad 1 has posted an answer to reply to your classmate. Click reply. My comment or response is now recorded under MS1 iPad 1. This is my response to my classmate. Other students might reply to your answer, so make sure you check on the discussion board and have a productive discussion with your classmate. Let's head back to our class and have a look at the final type of assignment, which is material. Unlike question or quiz assignment or simple assignment, material does not require your submission. In other words, you don't need to submit anything in the material. In this case, a teacher has assigned a material and the instructions are use the material to review for the upcoming test on Monday. And the material is a link to a Khan Academy video clip. If you click on view material, the only thing you can do is add a class comment. No other actions apart from viewing the clip is required. Let's see what you've learned today. We've learned how to join Google Classroom either by class code or direct invitation by your teacher. We also looked at four different kind of assignment. Assignment, quiz assignment, question and material. We've also learned how to respond to each kind of assignment. Thank you for your time. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.